Hey people, so this is my first video for my new series on being a master. And the first thing I want to talk about is something that you don't really see, or you know, it's not talked about a lot. And that is uh, routine and ritual. One of the key things that I think is overlooked is the is the vital importance of routine and ritual in a master slave relationship um, in most dominant submissive relationships it's important too but not as important um, when it comes to a master slave or mistress slave relationship routine and ritual are vital they are an absolute necessity for what it is we do I mean, the, the long and the short of it is that to be able to keep somebody happy and keep them in the right mindset, the easiest and most effective way of doing that is giving them specific tasks that they need to do daily, weekly, monthly. Things that could be something as simple as taking a couple photos in the morning. Okay? Um, could be something, you know, they have to contact you every day. Um, they have specific language they have to use when they talk to you, uh, call you by specific names, things like that. Um, this is part of the ritual and routine of doing this. When they talk to you, using the words sir and master, or mistress or ma'am, are something that needs to be ingrained into their thought process of how to deal with you. Because doing that immediately puts them in the mindset of, I am here to serve. Yes, sir. Yes, master. Yes, ma'am. Yes, mistress. Doing that, that little simple thing as a, as a continual thing, you know, that, you know, every, every, you know, especially if they're sending a text you know, or, you know, or in any, almost in any context, um, except for obviously in public, and even then you can kind of fudge it with the yes, you know, with sir and ma'am. Um, having them do this as a, as a normal thing, now, it's not really an ego stroke, but it's more of a getting them to understand their position. You, they're not talking to their friends. They're not talking to their family. They're not talking to their boyfriend or some guy they know. No, they're talking to their sir. They're talking to their master. They're talking to their ma'am. They're talking to their mistress. This is part of their existence. This is not something that they just, you know, willy-nilly do. No, they are there to serve. That is their purpose. You are, you, you know, your purpose in being there is to have them serve you, but your job is also to make sure that they do the right thing. This is why punishment is a part of the community. And I think that, again, I think it's way, that's way overused, and that's going to be a whole other separate video. But when it comes to ritual and routine, especially if you're meeting in person, you want to have things like greeting rituals, exiting rituals, and even if they're just minor and small and kind of don't even seem like they're really, you know, you're not saying, we're going to do the greeting ritual now. No. Go up, grab her by the hair, pull her hair back, give her a big kiss, ask her who she is, have her, you know, you know, ask her to um, ask her who you are. Set the dynamics, set it strong, set it beginning. At the end, you leave them with something to remember them by, to remember you by, something that when you know, I don't care what it, whatever particular thing it is you want to have, you know, you know, before they leave, they kneel. They kiss your, you know, kiss your feet, whatever. That's perfectly fine and legitimate. Any of those things are perfectly fine and legitimate. But the thing is, is that having those things sets the dynamic from the beginning, and then also leaves a lasting impression at the very end. Ritual and routine are necessity. Okay, the these are things that keep them in the mindset. These, these are things that keep them in the in the space that they need so that they understand why they're serving. 
even just even if they've had a horrible fucking day, just really bad, really awful, really just everything about it just screams this day sucks. If they can get into a, into a ritual and get into a routine, and they can actually do it, then what happens is is that it gives them a space to let go. Bad day at work, come home, spend five minutes kneeling. And have them do that every day. If that is something that you think you can, that would be useful to how you know for them. And and the thing about it is, is that it, sometimes it'll seem absolutely pointless, and other times it'll seem absolutely necess uh, an, an absolute necessity. Every chance you get to give them, and you know, give them something small. Don't overwhelm them. Don't don't give them, you know, five hundred fucking things to do. No, two or three. Small daily things, okay. You know they, you know, to say, you know they, you know they have to say good morning to you, you know, via text or via, you know, via, you know, via, you know, Yahoo or something. Or um, if they're living with you, then they wake you up a specific way. Um, any of these things, you do this as a routine. This is the way it should be done every morning, regardless of the situation. I mean, obviously, real world first. If you know they have to go to the hospital, there's no way they're going to be able to do it. If they've got to go, you know, emergency with the kids, they're not going to be able to do it. But then immediately the next day, put them right back on task. Get, you know, you want to just get. You want to make sure that on a daily basis they have something to do for you, something that, when regardless of what's going on in their lives, it brings the focus back to you. And I know that some people are going to go, you know, well, why, why is, what's the purpose of that? It's, it's psychological. If they can get it in their head and they can get it ingrained about who they are and what they are, then they will be able to understand what their position is a lot better. And I know that's a lot of words, but trust me. Do simple things. Not complex, not hard. They have to contact you, they have to do photos, they have to do whatever, if they're living with you, they have to greet you a specific way, and you can set up these little simple rituals and routines that when you are actually done with them, life, do, you know, you, you're, they're able to focus better, they're able to concentrate better, and even if they're having a fucking horrible day, getting into that set relaxes them, It clears their brain. Yeah, they may still be having a bad fucking day, but the bottom line is is that they understand. It gives them a thing to do. And so, again, I know I've been repeating myself again, but this is what I do. Like it or not. Simple ritual routines. Something that, when you do it, it helps them get into their space, and, by the way, also makes you happy. That's the key. You don't want to ever give them a ritual routine that's going to be like, you know, that, that annoys you. Because what's the purpose in that? If you're not having fun, what's the purpose? So. But anyways, that's it for now. Uh, links below. Find me on Fed. Find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. Find me all, all over the where. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that. Um, this is going to be an ongoing series, so I hope you like it. If you don't, you don't have to watch. That's it for now. Be well and safe.